Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with another tip of the day on cracking. Uh, we did the base coat here about six, seven weeks ago. I told the fella, install all your sheetrock. Well, he just got it done. It's quite a while, two months almost, but he had a question regarding to cracks. And I've been telling him, hydrate the walls. What does that mean? That just means saturate the walls, mist them, wet them, hose them down, whatever terminology you want. But Hydrate the walls, allow them to fill with water, expand, contract, We're gonna, we want the crack. Here's another thing, this is a sliding glass door. Now a lot of these doors, now you see that, or do you hear it? When this door hits this wall, it's vibration. The vibration causes cracking. Anyway, I told him, what we'll do is, gonna, it's a painted finish anyhow. They are gonna paint this house. All we're doing is putting a texture to match this finish here, and then they're gonna paint it. I told him, man, that's not a big deal. Uh, most people think hairline cracking is a sign of water intrusion and that the wood is going to get saturated. Far, far from the truth, guys. Cracking on every house is actually quite normal. Let me show you a couple other things here and get myself out of the sun because it's blinding me. We got a few hairline cracks here, here, and we got one here. I actually put a couple of expansion joints on the top of this simply because these doors are so incredibly heavy. It's kind of like a wood door, a front door, a mahogany or oak when you open and close it. And windows, they slam. These are opening and closing. They slam and vibration causes that. Well, the fellow here had a story for me and he, it goes like this. He says, well, I knew a guy and he sued a GC because the house uh, cracked. And I said, really? I know a lot about cracking. Why do you think that is? And he says, well, it turns out through litigation, they open the walls up, and that, I love this story, because I just heard it five minutes ago. He says, the walls that had stapled off every stud, they stapled every stud off, 16 on center, and I said, yeah, that's the way you're supposed to do it. He says, well, they found out that the walls that they missed the stud and only hit the field, those didn't crack. And I thought, well, that's extremely odd and not proper because technically when we're stapling off, we're supposed to hit every stud every six inches. And we can put one in the field where the wires overlap because sometimes those protrude further than the inch of stucco. That holds per square inch. But I said, man, now that you're on the uh, topic of cracking, let me do two things here. Um, what determines cracking is... I'll just name a few because I can go on about cracking forever, is say like trucks going by, big garbage trucks, uh, wind that moves the house, believe it or not, uh, rain is the main, the main culprit. Three months of rain, let alone two months of rain, the house will lift and drop and that will cause stucco to crack. There are many other reasons such as settling, a foundation will settle. A roof, you put on uh, your, your tile roof, that will settle a house. That will cause cracking. Let's see, studs. Okay, I've seen it where the sun hits a wall. Now we're talking hotter climates than where we are now. Right now we're in the Bay Area, cool climates usually. Doesn't get past 100. But I've seen walls in certain areas that 100 degrees, 105 year round in the summertime, that the sun heats the stucco to about 140, 150 sometimes, takes the shear wall, expands it. When it contracts, it cracks the stucco. I've even seen studs that are twisted because they were put in wet. And then when the sun heats that up, it twists them, expands the, stu the stucco, and cracks it. So even the sunshine on a hot wall for months on end will expand that wood and will expand the stucco and then it'll shrink. And these are just, guys, the tip of the iceberg. The windows of the doors, refrigerators moving inside. Vibration. Stucco like concrete. You're not, it doesn't vibrate very well. Glass will shatter. Stucco and concrete will hairline crack. Is it a big deal? Not at all. Not at all. So I thought I'd point that out because we're putting a little fiber mesh tape over some of these cracks. And I told him, dude, even if these cracks come back, which they can, which is not something that an applicator like myself or a GC really is responsible because we can't control elements. Uh, I thought I'd point that out because he told me that bizarre story about the uh, cracking walls and they missed a stud and that wall didn't crack. 
Anyway, guys, hope that's not too confusing, but there's a lot of, there's so many more uh, reasons why stucco cracks, I can't even get into it. Otherwise, I'll bore the crap out of you guys. My name is Kirk. Jason on the camera. We thank you for watching it, as usual. We'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.